today. Today, let's do it together. Ready? Today is going to be a great day. Right? <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, the shop has been doing good. Well, financially, it's not been doing good. It, I've, I've got customers coming in, but they're looky loos. It's like, nah. Um, when school gets out and the real tourists are coming, I think that's going to make a big difference. So, I have some more crystals coming. I, oh, I am so pumped. I was looking on Instagram today before work, and I saw. A lady I will put her Instagram information down below but she made these this is she's in Seattle this is I guess the bulk of her business and I went bananas I want to go into a deep dive with this I want to start making these half moon wreaths and stuff um, and maybe a couple of bouquets just for the sake of doing them because they are so pretty um, but you know there's like I, I started looking into some supplies I'm like holy cow like I'm just gonna I if you guys have been around for a while you probably know that when I get into doing something I do it all the way like I don't half-ass it I you know, I get all the things. <laughs> so, I'm thinking that, uh, like, so I can get those, the crystals for the handles of those bouquets. And, ugh. I, my wholesaler for my crystals, she's always showing these crystals. And I'm thinking, yeah, they're really pretty, but what do you do with them? right other than just look at them this is a brilliant idea absolutely brilliant idea because <clears throat> it's not only absolutely gorgeous it's also for the bride it's going to give her that energy and the healing properties from the crystal while she's holding it walking down the aisle um, it is something that she can keep forever um, and it will be a beautiful centerpiece in her home. So um, this lady also makes other ones where it's almost like a sage burning idea and it's a bouquet but after the ceremony you burn your bouquet. it's called burning your bouquet. I thought that was kind of a neat idea too. So, but these, the half moon wreaths, or the moon wreaths, I, I gotta get on that. I wanna make those for the shop. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> down the rabbit hole I go. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, because I used to make, uh, I, I don't know if you guys know about this. I think it's before I started YouTube, I actually, I would make, you. I mean, the OGs out there, you know that I made um, mask canvases and stuff like that. But you may not know that I did some floral stuff as well for uh, one of the friends I had back then. I made all of her bouquets for her wedding in a very short period of time because I didn't have a lot of time. Um, she didn't give me a lot of time. Um, and so I made them. They were beautiful. I still have my little bouquet at home. But I, I can do that, right? I can do bouquets and stuff. <clears throat> um, but the crystal idea with the bouquet, wow. That, that makes that levels up big time um, and it goes right along the lines of what I'm doing now so
Can you imagine a bouquet with yarn and crystals? What? Like, that would be very cool. I might have to do that. Hmm. I might have to do that. That would be really neat. With, um, like, crocheted flowers, little yarn balls, chains, like, um, chaining, well, chaining chains to drape in. Oh. I think that would be really neat. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm thinking might be another avenue for my shop. <sighs> I got to go to the chiropractor again today. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've been lately, I don't know what's been going on. <clears throat> I had a sneezing fit last night. I've got like a tickle in my throat, like, <clears> throat, I think it's allergies. The pollen here is horrendous. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's, uh, I have a pollen, po pollen, I have a pollen allergy. And when it's flying in my car, it's just like, <sighs> <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, so today I'm going to be working on my sweater that, um, what's it called? Flora, Flora, no. And the, 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 the blue one. <laughs> I'll show it to you later. I'm finished the back. Uh, now I'm doing the front. So the front is actually, I've got a Jacob's Ladder, one Jacob's Ladder going up the sides. And I'm thinking about doing the Jacob's Ladder up the arm. I think that might be kind of cool. So, but uh, I'm working on the one side, the one panel on the side. Man, I've had to frog that thing like three times because I keep getting my count wrong by like one. It's driving me nuts. So, I think after I finish that sweater, I'm going to hold off on doing any more sweaters. Because I just, my brain can't handle it. Um, although, I did get commissioned to make a sweater for a lady. But this sweater that she wants is in a three-weight yarn. Yeah. And it's kind of like the cardigan types, not cardigan, well, it's a short cropped cardigan style, like you can buy at Walmart kind of thing, <sighs> I'm thinking, oh man, and she wants it very plain in rust, the color rust, that's going to be monotonous, you know, doing single crochets or half double crochets in one color. Yikes. Not my thing, but we'll see how that goes. It's not a definite. I haven't, I have, I said I could look into it, but I haven't said yes, I will do it. So I may end up just saying, you know what, I'm too busy. I just can't do it. Okay, I'm on my way to work, so I am going to, oh, excuse me, I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, bye. Good morning, Yarnabees. How are you today? Okay, let's do it together. Today is going to be a great day. Uh, it is... Tuesday, um, Seniors Day. It's been a long time since I've done the other part of my video. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed. Uh, so I'm sorry I haven't been getting my videos out. Uh, so I'm really I'm really noticing it in my analytics. 
I'm like five years into my channel and I'm all, I haven't even broken 4,000 subscribers. <sighs> I'm starting to wonder what the point is, but I know that there's a lot of you out there that like seeing my videos. So I keep going as much as it is. I can't talk about that because I'll cry. So anyway, let's talk about the elephant in the room. My hair. Mm -hmm. I went and got my hair cut. Uh, I was getting tired of tucking it and it getting caught up in my collar. So I went and got it cut. And I got it cut to the length that I usually get it when I'm, um, when I get it cut short. <laughs> I didn't realize that gray hair is a lot different than your regular hair because this part right here was sticking straight out. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I thought, oh my God, I, I can't wear my hair like this. So I got her to take it a bit shorter. To say the least, it's, it's short. It's shaved big time. Um, do I like it? I don't mind it being that short. What I do mind is that I have like this part here. It's not blended very well. Um, so I've got this like thing happening that I got to try and figure out. Um, also right here it's doing funky shit oh, sorry. <laughs> it's one of those days uh, doing funky stuff <laughs> that I can't seem to control very well it's like a bump up here I might have to get it shorter Ugh. I don't know if I can handle it any, any shorter than it is. Um, <laughs> I uh, told George, I says, well, it's pretty short. I don't think you've ever seen me with my hair this short. When I came home, he was like, yeah, it's pretty short. <laughs> he says, your hair is longer than mine or shorter than mine. And I'm like, yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's taking some getting used to this gray hair thing. Oh my God. You know, Joe, you told me it was going to be better if I went gray. <laughs> Man, my gray is just fighting me every step of the way. This is not the way I had planned it to be. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking, should I just go completely blonde again and be done with it? Or, uh, I don't know. But, it, yeah, it's like, it's fighting me. So, anyway. Enough about that. <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did a thing. Yeah. There's a lady in Shimanas who used to have a store at the market that I was at before. And she had a store in there before COVID, during COVID. And she apparently did really well. She did miniatures. Uh, or she had miniatures, but she also had like, you know, junk jewelry kind of thing, like co um, costume jewelry, whatever, and novelty stuff. So she showed me, um, like she used Square Up too. Square Up is a POS system, um, for those of you that don't know. It's uh, a program that you put all of your items into and uh, it's, it's like your cash register. So anyway, <clears throat> she showed me her report and it said, you know, 
like nine thousand dollars for earrings and that she made and yada yada so i thought eh, okay she says you know i because she had she shut down her business and she has all her stuff sitting in her house that isn't doing anything so she said you know do you want these earrings you know to put in your shop i thought well it depends on what kind of earrings it is so she sent oh she sent over a bag and it was some stuff in there I was like nah I can't use that other stuff I was like yeah I can use that she showed me a picture of a tote like two totes that she had totes full one tote was completely full the other was about to have to you know three quarters full <coughs> So she says, you know, why don't you come over and look through all of this and see what you want. And then we'll just do it on commission basis, whatever, 50, 50, 60, 40, whatever. And I talked it over with George and I says, you know what? I don't want to have to deal with commissions anymore. So why don't I just pay her outright for it and, uh, and be done with it? I barely got the words out um, on text to say, hey, this is my thought. I'll just pay you outright for the earrings and we'll just be done. Barely got the send button and she said yes. That should have been my first clue. Um, she sent her husband to deliver these totes. I opened them up and took a look and went, oh crap. This stuff is all novelty type uh, earrings. <clears throat> Some of them I can use, about a quarter of them. Um, the rest of them are, I don't know. I'm talking like, Rubik's cubes that are this big hanging on your ears. There's a tennis racket about that big with a tennis ball hanging from your ears. Pool cue balls. I kid you not. There was a lot of stuff in there that I kind of went, oh crap. I, I, I can't use any of this. What am I going to do? I counted them all. 2,000 pairs of earrings. 2,000! I'm just like, oh, wow. All right. I had already paid her. $250. Hmm. So I was going through them and I started thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could take some of them and put them on tumblers, on travel mugs. I have, I, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I have these little things on them um, uh, that you can hang stuff so I glue them put UV resin on them to hold them on and then you can put a jump ring on them and you can hang stuff so I'm going to try that and see what happens with some of this stuff it might work but my sister came over and she looked at him and went you know what she says I have a feeling that when she, because I said to her, I, said, I can't imagine how much she spent on all of this stuff to bring it in. And for what? For what reason? Like, uh, I don't know. Not my thing. Uh, and she says, well, she sells miniatures. So maybe she was thinking that this stuff could be like miniatures for people where they just take the earring things off and just use them as miniatures for shadow boxes and stuff like that and I thought okay well that makes sense um, but wow 
wow like oh unbelievable so anyway um i thought okay well how am i going to salvage this I thought okay well what if I had a garage sale George and I we were planning on having a garage sale at some point and I can have a table just put all of these earrings out on a table and sell them for a buck a pair right and just advertise them as novelty earrings that could be you know uh, taken apart and used for other things uh, you cut an 80s party I got the earrings for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I figured, okay, well, I'll do that. And then a couple other people said, well, you've got your uh, market on July 6th, the street market. Why don't you put a couple baskets of them out there and try and sell them out there? I could do that. So, yeah, I was just like, I mean, it could be a quick few bucks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that was between the shelving units that I got and the earrings. That's five hundred and fifty dollars that I just kind of threw out the window, right? Although I did notice, I did try something new with those that shelving unit. Figured out I can use it. It's just I have to get some more shelves cut. So anyway, um, what else? I don't even know. Oh, uh, I started a baby sweater. I haven't done one in so long. Um, so I started a baby sweater. <coughs> in boy colors <laughs> don't know I think my daughter's gonna have a girl but who knows right um, so I, I'm gonna do a dress and I'm gonna do a sweater do a boy sweater and a girl's dress girl's dress <laughs> like I'm gonna do a boy's dress I don't know in this day and age right <laughs> um, so <clears throat> I'll do both and see what happens but I I started doing a summer top with the, the yarn that I'm using and it just didn't it wasn't feeling right I just wasn't into it the granny square sweater that I started doing where I was putting the Jacob's ladder down the front I don't know I'm just falling out of love with it I'm halfway through doing the one side, then I gotta do the other side, and then I gotta do the sleeves, and I'm just really not into it. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm starting to get crochet burnout, or I don't know what's happening, but I'm just not feeling the crochet right now. Just not. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm I'm kind of in a depression, I think. I'm in a lot of pain all the time and I'm tired and I'm just, I don't know, my emotions are all over the place at the moment. Um, yeah. But what is it, next week the kids get out of school or the week after? I can't remember. That's when everybody's going to be going on vacations and hopefully tourists will start coming and they will start buying. Um, I got some uh, tie-dye looking kind of shirts in. Uh, I've got those hanging up. So I'm trying desperately to do whatever I can to make my shop work. So, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm, I think I'm feeling kind of depressed too because I'm at the shop six days a week and the one day off that I have, I have to make stuff for the shop. I can't even do stuff for the house. 
Um, I, on yesterday, no, Sunday, no, yeah, Sunday I took off. I started getting into a groove of doing uh, tumblers and all that. And then my printer died and I found out that I have, uh, have to change the ink pads. I didn't even know I had to do that. So, what? Um, so, yeah, I didn't even know. So, I'm waiting for those to come. Those should be here tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll try it. Uh, and so, yeah, so I didn't get as much done yesterday on Saturday, Sunday as I wanted to. So, I felt like I wasted a day off. Um, got my dishes done and now they're piled up again. Uh, George does the laundry and he's never home because he's working two jobs and he's working crazy hours. So yeah, I, it just feels like we're getting further and further behind. So yeah, I'm a little depressed I think. But today's going to be a great day because it's Seniors Tuesday. So all these seniors are going to come and they're going to start buying and buying and buying, right? Uh, anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to go. Uh, yeah. And I guess I will. This FedEx driver is right up my butt. I'm going to go. Um, if I can figure out what else to talk to you guys about, I will come back. Okay. Thank you. Hello, yarn of bees. How are you today? My God. You know, you'd think that with short hair, it would be way easier to deal with your hair. It's not. It's totally not. Like, good God. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So I said that I would come back if I had something to report and I do I came home yesterday and I had a little slip in the mail that said hey Sandy you have a package so I couldn't get it until today so um George went and got it for me and I was thinking is it my crystals and I thought no I haven't ordered my crystals yet and then I remembered while I was at work that one of my Yarnabies, Mary, sent me a message saying, Hey, I have a package for you. It's been sent. It's on its way. And I was like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, so she sent me a package. Um, yeah, she says, it's a little yarn, you know. Oh, nothing major and I told her I says you don't have to do that because the shipping is atrocious and you know I felt so bad but she had already nailed it <laughs> and yeah shipping was atrocious on this so anyway here <laughs> here's the package oh. and I can't show you the front but she has a little bee on the top <laughs> Because we're yarn bees, right? So I'm going to open this, uh, open the top of this, and then I'm going to show you what's inside. I have no idea. It's going to be a surprise. So, yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Wow, she packed that up really good. <laughs> That's a tape. Um, so this is the first happy mail I've had in quite a while. Quite a while. I'm having wine tonight. It's been that kind of day. Um, so, for those of you that are new, you don't know, uh, I had a mailbox for a few years since, uh, since my channel started. And I just didn't see any reason to keep it going because it was really expensive and it got too hard for people to ship anything here. Because Canada, getting stuff into Canada is expensive. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of my um, my mailbox. 
because I didn't get a whole lot of Happy Mail anyway. So I figured, what's the point? Um, a very select few people have my home address. So Mary is one of them. <laughs> can't remember how that came about but <laughs> anyway um so she was gracious enough to send this and let me tell you guys like the shipping situation is horrid and it's horrid all over the place they gotta fix this they gotta do something about it I used to do giveaways all the time um I would ship ship off packages just to say hi thinking of you uh, and I just can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore because it's just too damn expensive. So, yeah. So, when I get a, a happy mail to my house, it it thrills me. It's, I'm so honored. Um, but, you know, I feel so guilty. So guilty. <laughs> but, having said that, uh, let's open this puppy up. Holy cow. Oh, Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, it opened it and it smells so nice. <laughs> it's like, oh, that smells good. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <gasps> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, oh, I just took this off the top and I saw what was underneath and mm, yes. Um, I gotta put this down. It's balancing on another box. So let's see if we get there. We go. Okay. This, I've never seen this before. Let me put my eyeballs on. Okay. Hopefully the uh, lighting in here is okay. This is, ah, oh, this is Sadar Snuggly Tiny Tots Baby Fashion DK. Ooh, let's open this up. Let me in. Open, 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 open. Sadar is really nice yarn. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is speckly yarn. And you know I've got a grandbaby coming, right? <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm not even showing you guys. Here it is. Sadar Tiny Tots. Look at that. How cute is that? It's got like all the baby colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are 50 gram balls. <laughs> okay, the color is a number, 0948. And machine washable. Where is the deed? Oh, here it is. 90% acrylic, 10% polyester. Wow, that took a while. That is so cute. Oh, I totally got him. You know, I just finished telling you guys that I've been getting um, like crochet block, right? Like I just, I pulled apart that little piece and part of the baby sweater that I was making. I just wasn't into it. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so yeah, I pulled it all apart. This might just give me the mm, to start again on something else. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten skeins in this. Look at this. Oh, that would totally make a baby sweater. And a hat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay. Oh, you guys. This, okay. Okay. For those OGs that are out there, you guys know. My absolute all-time favorite scrubby yarn we cannot get in Canada. We can only get it from Hobby Lobby, which I can't get to. And I have a couple of friends of mine, close friends of mine, that will send some to me every once in a while. I ran out quite some time ago. Uh, a friend of mine here wanted to try some. And I gave her the last few balls that I had. <sighs> Mary just sent me some. Not just some. She sent me a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, there's... Oh! 
She sent me a lot. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. Ah! This is Scrubology Scrub It. Oh. I am... I'm over the moon right now. I am absolutely over the moon right now. There's three purple. <laughs> I'm so happy. Three purple. One, two, three. Hopefully they didn't see me when I went by. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I don't think so. Are you getting treasure? Yes. Look, I got scrubby urine. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, three red. Red always sells. Oh, this is mine. Oh, red always sells. We don't have to make anything that's red. It sells. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is... <laughs> Three white. Oh. One, two. Three. Oh, my good God. <laughs> Three green. Ah! <laughs> I think she's got every color in here. Oh, my I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Three dark blue. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Who knew I was gonna cry over scrubby yarn? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, three orange. Uh, <laughs> three orange. Oh my goodness. <laughs> three yellow. I have nowhere to put this stuff. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Three pink. <laughs> I got a mountain of scrubby yarn. <laughs> Three of the other blue. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> oh. And three of the this yarn. goodness oh mary you just made my week like you made my you month. Made yarn to be of the month yes she's yarn to be of the month oh my god i'm oh wow this is just amazing amazing thank you so so much but wait <laughs> there's more <laughs> There's something else in here. There's two packages. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's start with this one. <laughs> oh, aren't you so cute? It's, it's yellow for Yarnaby. <laughs> oh my god. I wish you could see the detail. <sighs> this is black onyx. And this was made in Peru. <sighs> this Came with a little thing here. It says black onyx for the root chakra. Now the root chakra is your base chakra. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people that aren't grounded 
having issues with their root chakra. So um, that is totally me right now. It says enhances clear enhances clear focus and thinking dispels negative energy aids past life regression work provides happiness and good fortune. <sighs> this little guy is going to go on my desk at work and stay very close to me. Thank you so much. Um, this is extremely special to me. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Crows and Ravens hold a very special place in my heart. A lot of you know this. That is why I named my store my spirit raven raven ravens are my protectors they are my messengers they have saved my life more than once and they to me they are my spirit guide <clears throat> so this 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 hits home big time it's beautiful thank you so much. Oh, I can't wait to put this on my desk. A lot of people are going to say, where'd you get that? Can I buy that? I'll be like, get your hands off my raven. <laughs> no, that's, oh, wow. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. Here's this one. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's a card. Okay, let's read the card before we go any further. <sighs> She's got a, a, a little note here that says, Sandy, I laughed when I read this card. Too funny. I could see this on a mug or a t-shirt that you created. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't sick of me. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cute. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, man. <clears throat> I am just really... Oh, another note. It says, I'll forward the link when, where I bought this, where I bought the stones. They have them in baskets. Very pretty display. Ooh. Oh, wow. talking about this when she said this could be on a t-shirt <laughs> isn't that the truth holy hannah wow look at this she gave me um blue lace and little blue lace agate oops blue lace agate a rose quartz um a red jasper and a citrine Oh, that's so cool. She had them inside this box that says. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Um, I, I'm totally arachnophobic in a big, big way. And I wrote a book about a spider. I'll tell you, I didn't sleep for months after I did the research for that book. If you're interested in it, it's a horror fiction. It's very, very, um, I don't even know how to describe it. 
it could trigger people. Um, there's a lot of violence in it. Um, there's, you know, it's, it's like a, when you think you know what's going to happen, you don't know what's going to happen. And it, it segues. And the funny thing is I had a customer that bought my book at the shop. She just came in yesterday and she, she popped her head in the door and she said, I just have to tell you, I loved your book. I, I loved it. And I was like, oh, good. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you. I always worry, you know, but this is awesome. <laughs> but did you hear um, about that, uh, that bug that's supposed to be coming up here? What the heck was it now? And it flies. I don't think it was a spider, it was something else, an ant or something, and it's supposed to be really poisonous. I'm like, good God, flamethrower, please. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Joe from Joe's Web, she's all about the bugs. She loves the bugs. That is hilarious. I love it. I am totally going to put that on something. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love this guy. I love this little guy. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. This, this whole happy mail was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. You knocked it out of the park, girl. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, I loved everything. I am so thrilled. I am so thrilled. Uh, I'm going to start making scrubbies. I can't wait. Okay. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So thank you again. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, if you so in feel, if you, if you so feel like it, <laughs> I can't even talk. Um, do all the things. Subscribe, like, comment. I love getting comments. I'm, I'm, I don't get as many comments as I would like. I really like hearing from you guys. So comment. <laughs> I want to talk. <laughs> um, also, I have a membership uh, for $2.99. The link is down below. Um, I don't really do self-promoting at all very well. Not even in my shop. So uh, anyway. Okay, guys. I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.